Mishnah Dalet. Oh, this is good. Hashochet et pesach ala chametz. Somebody who slaughters the Pesach sacrifice on the chametz. What does it mean? Klomar, shebish'at shechitat ha-Pesach, that at the time of the slaughtering of the Pesach sacrifice, adayin yesh chametz bereshuto shel ha-shochet. The one who slaughters it has chametz in his possession. It says he has chametz in his possession. Or any one of the group has chametz on their possession. You're sacrificing it for 40 people. If any one of them has chametz in their possession, it's going to be problems. That's why you have to be very careful who you're going to celebrate Pesach with. Because if you don't trust them oh. that they have chametz, you're going to be in if big trouble. In their, or whatever. in their home. In their home. Yeah. Anywhere. In their possession. If they have chametz in somewhere in their possession, their whole Pesach sacrifice is on the Pesach sacrifice. That's it. You're not eating Pesach sacrifice that evening. Yeah. Either the, the guy who shechts, or any one of the group that was designated for these Pesach sacrifices has chametz in his, in his possession. Over belotase, he transgresses a negative commandment. What's a negative commandment? Because it says, "Sheneemar in Shmot lamedalet chafei, lo tishchat al chametz dam zivchi." It says you should not slaughter when you have chametz in your possession, the blood of my sacrifice. And what does the blood of the sacrifice mean? Bezivchi, hainu korban pesach. Simple explanation. This is the pesach sacrifice. Bagmara mevuar. In the Gemara, it explains Shehu Adin Boose Echad Mishar Avodot. It says it's not just the Pesach sacrifice; it's any one of the four works that we discussed before. Kigona Mekabelet Adam, for example, receiving the blood, or Hazorko, or destroying the blood, or Hamaktiret Emurav, or the one who um, burns the fats of the sacrifice. Ve'yesh Chametz Bereshuto, and he has Chametz in his possession. Or the possession of one of the people who are joining this Pesach, this uh, sacrifice, then he's transgressing a negative commandment. And if he, and he's obligated blushes, but nevertheless, the Pesach sacrifice itself, the Pesach sacrifice itself is kosher. Shekhen Shanu Betosefta, because it says in the Tosefta, Hashochet at a Pesach ala Chametz bar Basar. It says, if you slaughter the Pesach sacrifice and you have Chametz in your possession on the 14th, over Belotase, you are transgressing a negative commandment, but the Pesach at Smokashel, but the Pesach at Smok is still kosher, which means if you eat it in your house, that guy that has Pesach in his, in his house, He's going to get luscious if I, once we find out. But I can eat this Pesach sacrifice and I'm safe. It's considered to be a Pesach sacrifice. It didn't become no good. Pesach atzmo kosher. The Pesach atzmo is kosher. Ve'yatzabo yedeh chovato ve'Pesach. And I did my obligation on Pesach. U'bi'yirushalmi mevoar atam. Sh'atorah koro oto zevach. Yirushalmi it says because the Torah calls it zevach. The Pesach sacrifice is called zevach. Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Rabbi Yehuda says, it says Zivchi, by the way. The verse that before that we says, Lot Yishchat al Chametz Dam Zivchi. Zivchi can be Pesach sacrifice, Zivchi can also be the Mincha sacrifice. He says, how do you know it's talking about Pesach sacrifice? Maybe it's talking about Mincha sacrifice. Uh -huh. So Rabbi Yehuda says, Afatamid, it says also, it's not just a Pesach sacrifice if you shecht. Even the Mincha sacrifice, which you shecht at the time before, even then if you have Chametz at a time, you're still in trouble. Rabbi Yehuda Omer Afa Tamid. Rabbi Yehuda says even the Tamid sacrifice, Shel Ben Arbaim, of Ben Arbaim Be'erev Pesach, Sheshachatu Al Chametz, that you sacrificed and you still have Chametz in your possession. Kegon Shaya Chametz Bereshut Hashachet. For example, there was Chametz in the belonging of the guy who slaughters it, or Hamakriv. So this is all just the Kohanim over here. It's not the Chavura. But the Kohen that did the, the, the Tamid sacrifice and all the group that is taking the blood to the altar, 
in any of them as a problem, yeah, they, that's also a negative commandment. Over below Tase, he transgresses a negative commandment. Ta'amosh Rabbi Yehuda, the reasoning of Rabbi Yehuda, Mevu'ar Bagmara, Shu Duresh Zivchi. Because it says, even Rabbi Yehuda says, my way is even better than your way. Because it says, God, God is saying in this verse, Lo tishchat al chametz dam zivchi. On my zevach, it says, what's God's zevach? God's zevach is the tamid. Your zevach is the pesach. God is talking. Oh. It says, al zivchi, my zevach. Yeah, at the mid, God says, so he says, Zivchi means God's Zevach. Zevach ha-miyuchad li, this is Zevach that belongs to me. Why is the Zivchi is more God's? Because he eats it. It all goes to God. Klomar shedal shatoi Zevach Zivchi. That he thinks that the Zevach goes to the Mincha sacrifice. Zevach. Oh, so it says, so where's the... So he he learns the word zevach in the zivchi korban pesach and the yud is the middle. That's exactly zevach zivchi zevach hayno korban pesach zevach means the pesach sacrifice. The hayud bale rabot at the mid and the yud comes to say also the mincha sacrifice. Rabbi Shimon Omer, Rabbi Shimon says, ha pesach ba'arba asar lishmo, the pesach on the fourteenth. For his name. What does it mean? Hashochet et korban ha-pesach ba-abasar benisan lishmo. If somebody sacrifices the Pesach sacrifice on the 14th for the Pesach sacrifice, ve-yesh chametz birshoto, and he has chametz in his possession, what does he do? Chayav, he's obligated, mishum velo tishchat al chametz dam zivchi. Because it says, you should not slaughter the sacrifice on my uh, on when you have when you have chametz in your possession, and it says why. But we have a problem. Hazevach kasher. We said that the zevach itself is still kosher. Yeah, for you, you you're the problem. But the zevach itself is kosher. But it says veshelo leshmo. But let's look at the other way. What happens if you sacrificed the Pesach sacrifice? And you switched it to Islamim sacrifice. What said? Veshelo lishmon. Aval im shachato shelo lishem pesach beod shachametz birshuto. When the chametz is still in his possession, patur. He's not. He's not obligated from the lashes. So he says, why is he not obligated from the lashes? Oh, because it's not a god of Pesach, that's right. Shari Azevach Pasul, it says, because it's not Pesach sacrifice. You only get lashes on the Pesach sacrifice, and this is not a Pesach sacrifice. Ve'eno karui Zevach, v'shchitato eno shchita. This is, you, you're just wasting time over here. This is not called shchita, it's called, called nothing. I don't know what you do, you will, you will blemishing things, but it's not, we're not going to call this a shchita. In other words, you, there's no lashes for it. But he says, V'sh'ar kol hazvachim, what about all the other sacrifices? Im shachot korbanot acherim be'erev Pesach al hachametz, but if you slaughtered other sacrifices on erev Pesach, obviously it's after chatzot, it's after midday, yeah. Al hachametz, and you still had hametz in your possession, shelo lishman, and you did them not for their sake, and we say it's only the Pesach sacrifice that is problematic. The other sacrifices are still remaining kosher. So maybe now you're still going to have a problem according to it. Shemikol makom ksherimem, because other sacrifices, not like as severe as Pesach sacrifice, that becomes pasul. They're still kosher. You just have to bring another one. K'mo sheshanu b'tchilat zvachim. So it says, kol hazvachim shenizbachu shelo lishman ksherim. It says, every other sacrifice that you switch the name or the work, they're still kosher. But the owner has to bring another one because this is not Yotze. Because he didn't do his obligation from this Korban. But the Korban is kosher. You can eat it. You can do whatever you thought with it. But he needs to bring another one. But two, then he's not obligated. Because at the time that he's, not ob- that he's obligated of not... Slaughter chametz in korban pesach harei patur bishar zvachim. 
is not obligated in other sacrifices. And explains Rabbi Shimon learns it from the fact that it says twice in the Torah, my sacrifice. Well, it says, first time it says, Velo tizbach al chametz dam zivchi. And you should not sacrifice when you have chametz in your possession, my sacrifice. And then it says, Velo tishchat al chametz dam zivchi. And you should not slaughter on chametz dam zivchi. Yeah. So that's how he learns it. Okay, what about Bamoed? So you, a person, brings, a, 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 let's say it's the, it's the third day of Cholomoed Pesach, and he's bringing his Pesach sacrifices. He, he's coming and he says, okay, this is my Pesach sacrifice. In the third day? Yeah, it's, it's all the time, I know. It's oh. all the time. That, no, no, no. no. Bamoed, what happens if you did it, Bamoed? You have to eat Pesach sacrifice on the 15th of Nisan. Bamoed, if you did it, it's a completely wrong. Of course. Ubamoed, Hashochet et Korban HaPesach al HaChametz Bechag HaPesach. So you slaughtered the... Se- you did it again. Yeah. What do you mean? He still had Pesach. He still had Chametz. He didn't clean it. He never cleaned his house. He forgot. Yeah. Whatever, and then he came, he found out, oh, I had uh, chametz, I didn't mevatel it, I didn't do, whatever it is. Look, look at my whiskey bottle over there, I forgot about it. Oh. Whatever the thing is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the one who sacrificed special sacrifice on chametz, or he, you, you want something else? He bought a bottle of whiskey on Pesach. Yeah. Whatever the case is, it doesn't matter. Yeah. chametz b'chag Pesach, atzmo lishmo, if he sacrificed, if he slaughtered it for the name of Pesach, patur, he's not obligated. Why? He's not obligated lashes. Because of not, you should slaughter on chametz. Because since now it's not korban Pesach, it's not a Pesach, it's not a Pesach, it's down, it's nothing. He is, I don't know what he's doing, but it's not a sacrifice. <laughs> it's nothing. Ubagmara <laughs> mevuar, and the Gemara explains, says, what would he even think about it? So it says like this. The reason why you were thinking about it, shemedubar kan kegon shayu abaalim ayut me'eimet. The owners become um, tame during, on the 15th. They couldn't eat it. Venidchu lepesach sheni. And they were pushed off for pesach sheni. So he says, I'm going to bring now the Pesach sacrifice and I'm going to eat it. You know when? On Pesach Sheni. I'm allowed to do such a thing. Freeze it. Whatever. Yeah, and I'm going to eat this. I'm going to make it into biltong. I don't know. And I'm going to eat it then. Maybe then you can say it. But you still have Pesach in your house. You still have the Hamid in your house. Shenimtza korban lekarev korban Pesach. Then it is still a korban Pesach now. Because you're doing it for Pesach Sheni. For the second Pesach, she'im lo ken are halacha is she Pesach shelo bezmano dino keshlamim, and the halacha is that Pesach not in its time it is like shlamim. So in other words, pe- only the first Pesach is as severe as as you know as that you, it becomes pasul. But the Pesach sheni doesn't become pasul. It, it has the same status as all the other sacrifices. That's what you learn from it. Shelo lishmo. What happens if on Chol HaMoed, Im Shachato Bamoed, Al HaChametz, Shelo Leshem HaPesach. You started it not in order for Pesach. Im Leshem Zevach Acher, Kegon Leshem Shlamim, if you started it, for example, for a Shlamim sacrifice. Chayav. You have Pesach, you have Chametz in your, in your possession, then you're obligated, you're going to get lashes now, because you have Chametz on, on your possession. So if you brought Shlamim and even Shlamim during Chol and you have Pesach, you still have the Zivchi goes on the Shlamim. You're still not allowed to. Not only on Pesach, because otherwise you would think it's only on your Pesach sacrifice and on the Korban Tamid. There's you on any sacrifice. If you still have Chametz in your house, you're going to get your lashes. Chayav mishim lo tishchat al Chametz, shari zevach kasheru, because this is a proper sacrifice. Shepesach shelo bezmano, 
because the Pesach not in its time, הרי הוא קורבן שלמים. It is a שלמים sacrifice, Pesach not in its time, it becomes the same thing. וכל דינו כשלמים. ושאר כל הזבחים, and any other um, sacrifices um, pes- not שלמים, שנזבחו בחג הפסח, that they were slaughtered in their holiday of Pesach, בין לשמן, בין שלא לשמן, whether, whether it was for the, in the sake of the Pesach sacrifice, whether it was the sake of שלמים or another sacrifice, אם שחטן על החמץ, if you sacrifice them when you still had חמץ in your house, חייב, he's obligated, משום לא תשחט על חמץ, because he, of the obligation, you should not slaughter or doing the holiday of Pesach when you have Pesach in your possession. שהרי שאר הזבחים שנזבחו, because any other sacrifice that you brought, אפילו שלא לשמם, even not for the name, we say they're still kosher. Yeah. They don't, they, you don't change it. כמו שהבנו לעיל בהתחלת מסכת זבחים, just like we explained in the beginning of this tractet. ולשי לרשת רבי שמעון שבנו לעיל, according to the explanation of רבי שמעון that we brought before, בזמן שהוא פטור משום לא תשחט על חמץ, when you are not obligated of לא תשחט על חמץ בקורבן פסח, in, קורב... in the sacrifice of פסח, היינו בחג הפסח עצמו, which means in the פסח sec... holiday itself, הרי הוא חייב משום לאו זה בשאר הזבחים. So at the time that you're going to be Um, פטור from פסח is going to be obligated for all the other זבחים. חוץ מן החטאת ששחטה שלא לשמה, except one thing which we're going to learn this rules later on, sin offering has got a little bit different rulings that you, when you slaughter it not for its name, שכן חטאת שנשחטה שלא לשמה, because the sin offering that you slaughter it for a different reason, פסולה היא. That becomes פסול, not like the other sacrifices. ולכן כששחטה בחג הפסח על החמץ, and therefore when you slaughter it on פסח on חמץ, just like פסח you פטור because it's not good, this is also you פטור because it's not good. הרי הוא פטור שזבח פסול הוא ואינו קרוי זבח, because it's not, it's not called a sacrifice. A sacrifice is something that is still a sacrifice, you can eat, or it's still kosher. 